plastered, I'd probably be laughing. Yeah. But it's just, you know what I mean? There's no continuity. It's, it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like an old school roller coaster. Yeah. All right, this is our first time here in Stephen Wright. We're listening to his bit, Deadpan and One Liners. Let's get into it. My theory of evolution is that Darwin was adopted. <laughs> I got a new dog. He's a paranoid retriever. <laughs> he brings back everything because he's not sure what I throw him. <laughs> My uncle was a clown for Ringling Brothers Circus. And when he died, all his friends went to the funeral in one car. <laughs> So I get out of the bed, I figured I'd go for a walk. She said, how long are you gonna be gone? I said, the whole time. <laughs> and I was thinking about the new phone that I bought, and the first thing I did was push redial. <laughs> phone had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Whenever I think about the past, it just brings back so many memories. I remember the day the candle shop burned down. <laughs> Everybody just stood around and sang happy birthday. He is peculiar. Yes. How do you feel about the audio? I mean... <laughs> the audio quality hurts. I think it's fine because okay. it's, a, it's a mad, like a mashup tech thing, so... Yeah, yeah. A mashup of different poor audio qualities. Yeah, but... And then we saw a sign, next mile, one mile. <laughs> one time, right in the middle of a job interview, I took out a book and I started reading. The guy said, what the hell are you doing? I said, let me ask you one question. If you were in a vehicle and you were traveling at the speed of light, and then you turned your lights on, would they do anything? <laughs> he said, I don't know. I said, forget it then. I don't want to work for you. <laughs> I remember when I was a fetus, I used to sneak out at night when my mother was sleeping. I thought to myself, you know, now's the time I should start stealing some stuff since I don't have any fingerprints. <laughs> I bought some powdered water, but I don't know what to add. <laughs> Sponges grow in the ocean. That kills me. I wonder how much deeper the ocean would be if that didn't happen. There's a fine line between fishing and just standing on the shore like an idiot. <laughs> I can levitate birds, but nobody cares. It's a good thing there's gravity, otherwise when birds die, they just stay right up there. Hunters would be all confused. I'm thinking about my grandfather and how he had a special rocking chair built that would lean forward rather than backwards so he could fake interest in any conversation. <laughs> I took a lie detector test. No, I didn't. <laughs> I remember when I was seven, my grandmother said, Stephen, come over here. And I said, what do you mean? She said, you know, you're over there, now come over here. I said, all right. And then she said, here's ten dolls, and don't tell your mother that I'm giving this to you. And I said, it'll cost you more than that. <laughs> I've never seen electricity. That's why I don't pay for it. <laughs> I write right on the bill. Sorry, haven't seen it all month. Okay, okay, this is bizarre comedy. Yes. Do you get it? It's like... Yes. It's this like... One-liners. Yeah, but, but it's like... But to me, this is like if you took your 50 favorite songs and took one line from all 50 of those songs and, and be like... And you mashed them up. Bing! Do you like it? 
Right. Like, to me, comedy is something the comedian, it's like, flow. it's a journey and they work you into and they set up things for the end and some they reference stuff in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's a whole flow for me. So this is very jerky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's strangely clever. Because I can't get into a flow. Same. I'm just kind of like, what? This is bizarre. Because it's like birds, if they weren't flying, and they, you know what I mean? If there wasn't gravity, they'd just be stuck. Like, that's interesting to think about. And like a sponge, like sponge, all the sponges in the ocean absorbing water. Like, how, right. can they absorb water when they're in the water, though? You know what I mean? Submerged. They probably absorb maximum water by just existing. I, I'm just like, this is a... It's like when you talk to someone who just sees the world really differently, and you're like, dang, they're weird, but I mean, I can have one conversation with them. Yeah, I mean, it's a bunch you of know? silly jokes. I feel like if I was, like, plastered, I'd probably be laughing. Yeah. But it's just, you know what I mean? There's no continuity. It's, it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like an old school roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this thing from my car. You put it on your car. It sends out this little noise so when you drive through the woods, deer won't run in front of your car. I installed it backwards by accident. <laughs> Driving down the street with a herd of deer chasing me. <laughs> I'm going to court next week. I have been selected for jury duty. It's kind of an insane case. 6,000 ants dressed up as rice and robbed a Chinese restaurant. I don't think they did it. I know a few of them and they wouldn't do anything like that. So I was laying in bed with my girlfriend reading the second-hand diary that I bought. I don't remember this. She said, let me ask you a question. I said, what? And she said, if you could know how and when you were going to die, would you want to know? And I said, no. And she said, forget it then. <laughs> Left the store and went down the street to my bus. My bus came and I got on. Started walking toward the back. Sat down beside this beautiful blonde Chinese girl. <laughs> I said hello and she said hello. I said, isn't it an amazing day? She said, yes, it is, I guess. I said, what do you mean you guess? She said, well, things haven't been going too well for me lately. I said, like what? She said, I can't tell you. I don't even know you. And I said, yeah, but sometimes it's good to tell your problems to an absolute total stranger on a bus. <laughs> she said, well, I've just come back from my analyst and he's still unable to help me. And I said, what's the problem? And she paused and said, I'm a nymphomaniac and I only get turned on by Jewish cowboys. <laughs> then she said, by the way, my name's Diane. And I said, hello, Diane, I'm Bucky Goldstein. <laughs> what in the world? He had a bear, like his deadpan was the deadest pan I've ever, yeah, ever seen. Yeah, definitely. Like what? And his hair was just like, so, I was just like, this is a character. He has all these creative sort of stories. I would like to see a bit, like a whole bit. Like one topic. Yes. Yeah. That was a bit, that was like bizarre comedy. But I mean, I kind of liked it because it was like weird thinking. Because with comedy, you have the timing, you have delivery. Like, it's a whole art you form. You just repeat a joke that everyone laughs at. They may not laugh when you say it because of your delivery, your timing, and everything. Yeah. So I was like... I need the I need it all. I need the whole art form, not just the yeah. highlights. I feel like he's like the Ripley's Believe It or Not of comedians. Like the ver <laughs> the just like you go to the museum and just like this is so strange. I don't know what to think, but I kind of like it. I feel like I don't know anything about him because that was a highlight reel. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know.